Banks has been coming out with some really nice minimalist cases. And if you're a fan of keeping your phone protected while maintaining the feel of a phone that does not have a case on it, I definitely think you're going to like what I have here for you today. Here we have the Montage and the Aurora Armor Air cases, as well as a couple tempered glass screen protectors to help protect the front of your phone. Now if you guys do want to pick any of these up, I will be putting product links in the video description. And you're definitely going to want to stick around to the end of the video because I will be doing a drop and a scratch test to see how durable these tempered glass screen protectors really are. And I guarantee you by the end of this video, you'll know which one of these accessories are right for you. So first let's take a look at the Aurora Armor Air Case. Now like I mentioned before, this is a minimalist case. It's made from 600D Kevlar. It's very strong, nice and thin. It's got anti-fingerprint properties and it's also got a rear camera protector on the back of the case. So here is the case itself. It is a one piece design. It's only made for the back of the phone. It's got a really nice smooth feel to it. You can see it's got that woven Kevlar on the back. We also have that raised edge for camera protection as well. This is super light and it's super thin. You can also use this with regular wireless charging as well. We've got our sticker on the inner portion here that we need to remove before we put it on the back of the phone. And as you can see, it's just, there's barely anything there. So if you want to protect the back of your phone and the sides while maintaining the slimness and the feel of the phone not having a case on it, <laughs> this is definitely one I would take a look at. So let's peel off the sticker on the bottom here. And we'll take our phone, place it in the back of the case. Just press that into place and then run your finger down the the edge here by the spine to adhere the sticker and there we go so it feels just like the phone does not have a case on it everything's working perfectly fine feels nice in the hand if we look at it from the top you can see it's got the cutouts for our microphones we have a big cutout here for our fingerprint sensor power button and our volume buttons on the bottom, we have a cutout for our mic and our charging port. And that is pretty much it. And again, like I mentioned, we have that raised edge to protect our cameras as well. Open it up, fits perfectly on the phone, doesn't just come off the phone itself. It definitely does help open the phone a little bit more than it would if the phone did not have a case on it at all looks really nice and like I mentioned before you can also use this with regular wireless charging as well <clears throat> I really do like the way that this case looks and again you also don't have to worry about fingerprints either and it is also scratch resistant as well So if you want to keep the back of your phone looking brand new, this is definitely a good way to do that while keeping the phone nice and slim. From the front, you can't even tell that there's a case on it. And in case you're wondering, the ring that is around the camera lenses is made of plastic. And if you're wondering, the case is on the phone pretty good. You don't have to worry about the case just popping off. If you want it to come off, you will need to kind of press your finger or thumb against one of the edges and it will release from the foam. But it is held in place with a little clip you can hear. So as you can see, just by touching the phone screen without a tempered glass screen protector, there are fingerprints all over the place. So let's test out the Banks tempered glass and see if it does any better with the fingerprints. So first up, we have their regular tempered glass screen protector. Now this screen protector does have 20 kilogram reinforced edges. It is a full coverage screen protector. It's totally clear. It's got a bubble free installation and it is also supposed to be smudge resistant. So we get one tempered glass screen protector, an installation packet, and an installation guide. So the first thing we wanna do is to clean off our screen thoroughly with the included alcohol wipe, then dry the screen off. Then we're gonna take our guide, making sure that the top signifier is going towards the camera on your phone. We'll just place this over the top of our phone, just like this. Use your dust stickers to remove any dust. 
Then we'll take our screen protector, we'll peel back the plastic film on the back. We'll place the screen protector inside the guide. And then press down in the middle of the screen protector, it should adhere to the phone. You can kind of help it along. Then press down on the screen, lifting up the guide. And we'll take a look. So it does look like there is some bubbles at the top of the screen here. We'll press those out with our fingers. And we're all set. So we'll clean off the screen. So other than the little bit of bubbling at the top, everything else looks perfect. There is a slight gap on the, the back edge here on the bottom a very little bit in the front here and on the top so it may be case friendly with other cases we'll test that out but other than that this is pretty much a full coverage screen protector it does cover the camera on the front of your phone as far as touch goes super smooth just like the glasses on the phone as far as fingerprints it does seem to pick up very minimal fingerprints we have some right there but other than that, looks fairly good, and they wipe away with like minimal effort. You really don't even have to do very much of anything to get rid of them, so that's definitely a plus. The edges of the glass are also rounded off. Let's take a look at the screen. Screen looks crystal clear. Touch working perfectly fine, no issues there. So now let's take a look at the screen as if we were looking at it through polarized sunglasses. So as you can see, there's just a very minimal rainbow effect depending on how you twist the screen. If you're looking at it directly on, there's really not much of a rainbow effect at all. So that is definitely a plus. So now let's test out the screen protector with a, a case top that I have right here just from a generic case. We'll put it over the top of our phone. It seems to fit okay for the most part. Where you're gonna run into issues is if your case kind of sandwiches down on the top of your phone, crushing the screen protector, that's where you tend to get lifting and bubbles. But for the most part right now, I don't see any lifting or bubbles, even though this, this case is pressing down over the top of the, the screen protector because there's not enough gap for this particular case. But the only way for you to know is to actually use it with the case that you are going to be using because they're not all made the same. And then here we have the Banks Montage Armor Air Case. This case is made from 600D Kevlar, just like the Aurora, but the difference between the Aurora and the Montage is this one has a hinge cover. Now if we take a look at the back here, you can see that it does have a couple different woven patterns on it, which makes it look really cool. It's got a nice smooth soft feel to it, it does not show any fingerprints. We have a raised edge for our camera protection, and again, we have like this spring hinge on the side. This, this case seems to be a little bit more substantial than the Aurora, it seems to be a little thicker. It's still really not that heavy, it's pretty thin. And you can also use it with a regular wireless charging as well. So we do again have a sticker on the inside that we need to remove. So we can take our phone, place it inside the back here, press it into place, and we have that hinge cover on the side. So you get a little bit more protection with the montage. Feels good in the hand. As you can see, it doesn't really add any extra thickness to the phone. We've got our cutouts for our power button and our volume buttons. On the top, we have our cutouts for our microphone. On the bottom, for our charging port and mic. On the side here, again, we have that hinge cover. On the back, we do have that raised edge for camera protection, which is pretty nice. And then when we open up our phone, that hinge kind of goes over the back of our phone, kind of giving us just kind of like a little bit of a raised edge to lift up our phone. And when we close it up, it goes right back over that hinge. <clears throat> Feels really nice. It's got kind of like a 
carbon fiber feel on the side. It does have some texture to it. And like I mentioned before, you can also use this case with regular wireless charging. I've tried the montage case on my iPhone and I really like that and this seems to be no different. This is a really nice feeling case. It looks really cool too. I like the contrasting patterns on the back. And as you can see it fits perfectly with the tempered glass on the front. So even though your phone's not covered 360 degrees, you do have a lot of protection on the back on the sides here for the back your hinge and then you have the tempered glass for the front. The Kevlar is also on the inside of the hinge too to help protect your hinge from getting scratched up even from the cover. And as you can see you can easily open and close the phone without the case coming off or moving either. And here I'll give you a look all the way around the phone so you can see what it looks like from every angle. Now if you want to take the case off your phone, what I would recommend doing is kind of placing one of your fingers over your cameras and then pressing back with your thumb and you can pop off the case from the phone. And the Kevlar also continues on the inside of the phone as well, feeling nice and smooth. So now let's move on to the scratch and the drop test for the regular tempered glass. So for the drop test, we're gonna be dropping a 2.4 ounce steel metal ball at a starting height of two feet. If the screen protector doesn't crack, we'll move it up foot by foot until it eventually does. So here we go at two feet. Moving on to three feet. Moving on to four feet. Five feet. Six feet. Six feet. So this screen protector lasted up until a six foot drop, which is definitely good. Now let's move on to the scratch test. So regular tempered glass starts to scratch around a Mohs hardness number six. So we're gonna start off with a number five. Then we'll move on to a number six. And then finally, a number seven. So if we take a closer look, you can see there are no scratches at a number five. There are slight at a number six and a little deeper with some cracks at a number seven. So scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for tempered glass. So installation for the screen protector was really easy. It may or may not be case friendly with the case that you're going to be using because it does seem to almost come right up to the edge of the phone. It lasted up until a six foot drop. And scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for tempered glass. Now let's move on to the Glass Warrior tempered glass. Now the difference between this and the regular tempered glass is the fact that this screen protector is supposed to be 10,000 times scratch resistant. It's also almost a full coverage screen protector. It's got a 20 kilogram reinforced edge. It's got a bubble free installation, rounded edges, it's smudge resistant and supposed to be better for drop resistance as well. But we're gonna test that out. So it looks like this has the same installation as the other one. You get one tempered glass screen protector, an installation guide, and an installation packet. So again, we need to clean off our screen with the included alcohol wipe. Then we need to dry off our screen. Then take the installation guide, making sure that the top signifier is going towards the camera on your phone. We'll just press this into place. Then we'll take our screen protector, peeling back the top portion just like that. And then just take the glass and rest it inside the guide. And then press down in the middle of the screen and it should adhere to your phone. Now you can kind of help it along if it's not moving. And once the screen protector is down, just press down in the middle, lifting up on the guide. 
Now we do have a bubble right here and a little bit on the top. So very carefully and very gently, I'm gonna lift up on the glass to remove these bubbles. All right, so we'll give the glass a little wipe. All right, it seems to look pretty good. Again, it's about a full coverage screen protector. It just leaves a, a big gap on the back, the bottom, top, and very slight on the front edge of the screen. And other than those bubbles that I saw before, I don't see any more. Looks really nice. The edges are also rounded off. It feels nice and smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone. As far as touch, touch working perfectly fine, no issues there. And as you can see, it is crystal clear. Now let's see what the screen looks like as if we were looking at it through polarized sunglasses. And as you can see, just like the other screen protector, this one has a very slight rainbow effect, depending on how you're angling the phone. Really not bad at all. Very usable. Now let's test out our fingerprints. It does pick up very minor smudges on the screen, and you can just very easily wipe those away with minimal. I was barely even pressing on the screen, so that's definitely good too. It also covers the front camera on our phone, so let's test that out. I don't anticipate any issues because it is crystal clear. Looks pretty clean to me. I don't see any issues. Yeah, looking perfectly fine. Now again, because this screen protector is almost a full coverage screen protector, it doesn't leave much gap on the edge of the phone. You may or may not have issues with the case that you're gonna use. The only way to test it out is to actually try it yourself because not all cases are made the same. So everything's looking great for the screen protector so far. Now let's move on to the scratch and the drop test. So we're gonna be dropping the same 2.4 ounce steel metal ball at a starting height of two feet. If the screen protector doesn't crack, we'll move it up foot by foot until it eventually does. So here we go at two feet. Moving on to three feet. Four feet. Five feet. Six feet. Seven feet. Seven feet. So the Glass Warrior screen protector lasted up until a seven foot drop. Now let's move on to the scratch test. So regular tempered glass again starts to scratch around a Mohs hardness number six, and this is supposed to be a little bit harder than regular tempered glass, so we're gonna test that out, and we're gonna start off again with a number five. Then we'll move on to a number six, and then move on to a number seven. So if you take a closer look, you can see there are no scratches at the number five. There are very light at a number six, and a deeper at a number seven. So scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for tempered glass. So installation for this tempered glass screen protector, again, was really easy. It may or may not be case friendly with the case that you're gonna use because the screen protector does come almost right up to the edge of the phone. It lasted up until a seven foot drop. And scratch resistance, again, seems to be pretty standard for tempered glass. So again, if you like minimalist cases, I definitely think that the Banks Montage and the Aurora cases are definitely worth a look. And their screen protectors seem to be pretty good, especially for drop protection as well. So if you wanna maintain that minimalist feel of your phone, I would recommend these cases and the screen protector. And again, if you guys wanna pick these up yourself, I will be putting product links in the video description. Out of these two cases, I definitely have to go with the montage myself. I do like the hinge cover and I like the way that the different fibers look on the back of the case. But what do you guys think? Do you like the Aurora or do you like the montage better? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing.
Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.